Hello, what is up everybody? My name is Kay and welcome to your live feed updates. I will be here all season giving updates for Celebrity Big Brother 3, so make sure you hit the subscribe button below to stay updated. Now let's begin. So these celebrities have been in the Big Brother house for nine days now, and we are just now getting the live feeds turned on. The live feeds were originally supposed to be turned on on Wednesday, which is the date of the premiere, but they got delayed, and I think I might know why. So Chris Kirkpatrick, the one from NSYNC, apparently left the Big Brother house sometime on Wednesday and returned on Thursday. I don't know why he was removed from the house, but apparently he stayed the night at a hotel. So I heard two different rumors. One is that it might have been something medically related, or it might have been because he got into a fight with another house guest, specifically Mariah. I'm not sure exactly what happened. I'm sure we'll find out on the show, but I'm guessing that's why the live feeds have been down. In other news, the power of veto has been played and the winner is Carson Kressley. He won the video and obviously took himself off the block. This apparently shocked a lot of the house guests and now that they know that Carson is capable of winning stuff, it kind of puts a little bit of a target on his back. He was originally supposed to be a pawn. Apparently Misha pulled Carson aside before the nomination ceremony and told him that he would be going up as a pawn, you know, and he was fine with that. So that's the reason why Carson went up in the first place. But now that he's off the block, a new replacement nominee has been announced and that is Teddy Mellencamp. So now we have Teddy and Mariah on the block together. Teddy seems to be the main target this week and we've seen her really fighting for votes a lot more than Mariah has. Mariah seems to be doing a lot less campaigning than Teddy and Teddy is like you know really trying to convince people to keep her safe this week so it looks like Teddy is the main target of the week and it looks like she's going to be the one going home but again I guess we'll see tonight. Mariah on the other hand apparently when she was put on the block she was hysterical crying for a couple days straight and not really wanting to talk to anybody or really you know have any game discussions with anybody so maybe that's that's why Mariah has been more quiet. I don't know. We'll just have to see. It also looks like our two big power alliances that we're going to have this season are the Formation Alliance and the Athletes Alliance. Todrick has seemingly abandoned his old Formation Alliance and is now working a lot closer with the Athletes Alliance and Misha in particular. Obviously, his old Formation Alliance is very, very bitter about that, so he's really not in the good graces of a lot of people right now. I was really nervous when I saw that Todrick was working with most of the people in the house and how he had an alliance with most of the people I was nervous that this would eventually turn around and bite him in the butt you know him having his hands in so many cookie jars and as we see it has bitten him in the butt a lot quicker than I thought. Tajrik is making enemies already like damn. So right now Carson, Cynthia, and Teddy are all locked in in that formation alliance and I believe Shayna is in there with them as well. Uh, they are not happy at Tajrik Hall right now and on the other side in the athletes alliance we have Tajrik, Nisha, Chris Kirkpatrick, and kind of sort of Mariah. I think Mariah is kind of on the outside a little bit in the house. I I actually think that Chris Kirkpatrick is doing a pretty solid job in the game so far. He's in really, really good with the Athletes Alliance, and he's done a really good job of kissing up to the HOH, which is always a positive thing, especially in these first couple of weeks. And even though he is in with one of the bigger alliances, his name has not been brought up yet. I think out of all of the members of the Athletes Alliance, Chris Kirkpatrick is definitely the least threatening, and so I think that it is the perfect spot for him to be in. Chris Kattan on the other hand seems to be doing the exact opposite every time this man walks into the room people just stop talking game like completely I don't know who he's aligned with or if he's even aligned with anybody but it's generally not a good thing to be a floater or a wild card in this game because that means you're expendable so Good luck to you, Chris Kattan. I don't know what you're doing, but best of luck to you. So that is it for your live feed update today. That is everything that I could gather from the conversations that happened on Thursday night. We'll have an eviction soon and a new HOH crown. So the game is only gonna get messier from here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you have not already and give this video a like. I will be here covering the Celebrity Big Brother live feeds all season. So stay tuned. See y'all later. Peace.